the new horizon comes out tomorrow as you said so let's start with uh you know writing and recording this album you know how was it you know under the circumstances we all know actually um the only difference is actually that we had have had much more time to actually be in the studio to be creative usually when you know there's not a corona going on we are always constantly touring like 150 180 days a year so it's been kind of nice so the only difference has actually been more time in the studio and for me personally I've been more involved in the songs, in the progress and everything. So it's, it's been kind of nice for a change. Yeah. So. Yeah, with writing the music comes, of course, writing the Arcadia story. But uh, can you tell me where it all began? Where, where did the idea originally come from? Um. I mean, everything kind of started with um, us sitting down and actually talking about the whole image and the whole thing around the Apocalypse DJ. And um, the thing is that uh, we felt that it was something, you know, kind of missing. We didn't want to be the, you know, the, the three guys with the jeans and the rock t-shirts we wanted to have something more like a visual stimulus you know like a stimulus so it's um we were like why not build a world around the apocalypse dj and kind of explain why he is in the band and where he comes from so to speak and um yeah like have this visual thing going on as well with the music so now it's like 50-50, you know, 50% image, videos, like the visual stuff and 50% music. So that was kind of the foundation of the whole idea to, to, to do this. It's like a concept thing. And the thing is that uh, we started recording the latest album, Arcadia, before this whole Corona stuff happened. So when we started recording, for example, Mad World, which is uh, kind of a reflection of what's going on, in the world this whole thing in 2019 in december started with those, this corona stuff so it everything was kind of a coincidence you know that everything like falling fell into place so to speak what was happening in the world and what was happening to us and everything you know it's, it's kind of cool so yeah that was how everything began basically we wanted something more than just to be this boring hard rock guys, you know, buying t-shirts on uh, Ikea or whatever. I don't know. It's, just, you, know, you know. Well, you know, going back to tomorrow, and as you said, there's uh, like a lot of hassle. So how do you find the experience of releasing new music at this time? As At this time, actually, we, uh, this whole thing with Corona has actually been a good thing for us. As I told you, the, the whole world is kind of a reflection of what's going on. So people have really felt that our music has been much more closer lately because they can relate to stuff that happens in Arcadia. And, um, you know, it's uh, usually, I mean, ever since we re released Arcadia, we uh, everything has been like tripled the size of the band because of that and of course good songwriting and uh good songs big songs and uh, so my experience with releasing music nowadays is that people are more much more online you know they're actually uh, watching the videos and they're actually you know are kind of uh like constantly updated that's the, that's the benefit with staying home, so to speak. Every, everyone is connected in, in, in uh, more closely, uh, you know. So that's my experience. So everything's going great for us, but the world is fucked up. 
but uh, you know it's just riding the wave of <laughs> you know the the, the shit hopefully it, mm. it's coming back and uh well your tour with within temptation and evanescence as i understand it's uh now postponed uh to march if i'm correct yeah how many times has it been postponed now and how is it for a band to kind of two times yeah <laughs> and i mean these shows are huge i mean they're they're like I think the biggest venue is like 20,000 people or something like that. You know, it's, so it's, it's, it's this arena tour. I really feel for the event organizers that they have, you know, had to postpone everything twice. <laughs> I mean, there's, it's, it's a huge thing to postpone a, a tour like that. So big ups for those guys. Yeah. But we're still on it. So kind of nice. Yeah. How is it for a band? for a band these postponements i mean fans are kind of collecting now uh concert tickets and everybody has like a stack of postponed concert tickets at home but how is it for a band I, it's constant blue balls man <laughs> i mean it's like you know like one third of your soul is trapped in this you know thing so uh, you know, it, it's it's a big part of us to tour, but uh, I mean, things are going to turn out good in the end. So I'm not so, I mean, things look, looks dark, but uh, I'm kind of positive. I mean, things are going to change sooner or later, you know, and when it, when it does, we're, we're ready, you know, so I'm, I'm kind of optimistic. But constant blue balls, that's my answer. That's my answer. Live, live blue balls. Well, you also have experience uh, with streaming gigs. So what's your take on them? I mean, as an artist, of course, but maybe as an audience member too. Uh, I really don't know, man. It's like, uh, it's fun to play. It's always fun to do, do and play music, but uh, I, I don't feel it. I don't feel the live shows for, you know, live stream things. It's just boring. It, it, that's not live. That's fake. Basically, you know, I, I don't see them. I don't, I can't interact with them. I can't do anything. It's like, I can, I'd rather be at home playing by myself. It's, I don't feel that shit. Sorry. But uh, I'm glad that the fans are feeling it. I am. But I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I hate it. I hate, I hate to, to not interact with the audience. I hate not to hear them, hear them and see them and feel them, you know? Um, so I, I fucking hate it. It's, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not live. It's just a fake thing. So, you know. <laughs> what I liked... Um... The next like concrete things that will certainly happen after the release of the album the release of live blue balls is <laughs> uh but you know we have a lot of tours like being you know cued stacked upon everything we're gonna do so i mean we're gonna tour the shit out of this earth and um you know, we're, we're actually building our own studio. I don't know if it's going to be called Smash Studios or something, but uh, we're actually building our own studio right now. And um, so that, that's going to be really cool. Uh, so we're, you know, constantly going to, we're going to live there. And we're going to produce a lot of music. And we're, as usual, we're going to be creative all the time. If, if, if we can't play live, we're going to do something other you know, something else creatively. So we have a lot of work to do, you know, anyways. So we're gonna, we're gonna satisfy the fans either way.